Modern day goalkeeping has been thrown around and adjusted to become a sweeper keeper, overtaking the obsolete way of goalkeeping in the modern era. Being a modern day sweeper keeper, you need to be fast, brave and good with your feet. But before we begin on how to be a sweeper keeper, let's head back to the origins of the original sweeper keeper role. Sweeping the ball as a goalkeeper rather than a defender has been changed in the 1950s by the Hungarian golden team goalkeeper Gwajla Grosic, who was thought to be the first goalkeeper to play as a sweeper keeper. However, Liverpool's Tommy Lawrence has also been credited with revolutionising the role of the goalkeeper position by effectively acting as an 11th outfield player. The Russian out goalkeeper playing style has been seen during the 1980s and 90s, making it one of the original sweeper keeper roles of the modern era. However, over the past few years, Manuel Neuer has exposed the sweeper keeper role massively. He has been described as a sweeper keeper due to his speed and unique playing style, which occasionally includes him acting as a sweeper keeper for his team by rushing out and anticipating the attacker's movements. Neuer's excellent ball control and distribution enabled him to start plays from the back. So as you heard, being a sweeper keeper requires great concentration, bravery and ball control. You must be able to read the play quickly and be off your line as fast as possible, to be able to attack the ball when the ball is in no man's land. But now that the history lesson about sweeper keepers is over, let me explain to you how to be a sweeper keeper. Firstly, you must concentrate during the entirety of the game, as a counter-attack may happen in just a blink of an eye, saying that you must even anticipate opposition attacks before the ball is even played, giving yourself an extra edge on the attackers. Being a sweeper keeper, you must start high off your line, and depending on the weather circumstance, you might adjust your position slightly. For reference, you need to leave at least a 10 to 20 meter gap between you and the defenders, so that you can sweep anything which comes past them without being too vulnerable to lobs and halfway line efforts, whilst also being a safe distance into a position to be ready for another attack. Remember that your defenders should be able to deal with any football which comes past them for the first 5 to 10 meters, and you are in charge with anything that happens. Make sure that the gap you leave increases as your defenders get higher up the pitch because you don't get lobbed from the halfway line. But also don't forget that the gap decreases as the defensive line gets further back to your box until you are in a low to medium block scenario. Being a sweeper keeper requires you to have good ball control because if no one presses you, you have time to distribute the ball up the pitch. Have if someone is pressing you, your defenders aren't making an option, you must be able to hit the ball most of the time, first time up the pitch with good connection. When come to sweep the ball, you must keep a close eye on it to ensure that it doesn't bubble over your foot and so that you can hit the ball smoothly and far. If the player is closely down, then don't attempt to kick the ball through them, but rather be safe and kick the ball next to them. I always try to look for a teammate when sweeping to not give away possession, however if that's never the case, therefore you try to aim high and far up the pitch but to the sides where you could create a counter attack. Sweeping the ball doesn't exactly mean to clear it when it runs loose in the danger zone. It means to gain safety of the ball when the ball is loose. Saying that, you can still sweep the ball from inside the box to gain safety and even hold on to it. When you sweep the ball, you must closely watch the ball in the air or on the floor whilst also taking into consideration the attackers run after the ball, the ground and the weather to be able to judge whether you will receive it inside the box or clear it outside the box. You also need to be able to know your own limits, meaning that you must recognise if you will go for the ball or drop back to your line for a shot. As a sweeper keeper, you must be brave because the attacks may be rapid, meaning that you will be in a 50-50 challenge where you may slide tackle or you may hit the ball at the same time. This means that you will need to analyse the situation within a split second before deciding your move. You would analyse the attacker's speed and distance away from the ball, whilst also analysing the ball's speed and distance away from you. From the judgement, you would either attack the ball or drop back for a shot. But you should also analyse the defender's position to see if you need to come out for the ball. Dropping back isn't a bad thing, as you give your defenders time to get back, but also making the attackers think about what they should do. However, attacking the ball quickly alleviates the pressure 
I have a very good sweeper keeper drill you can do to improve your sweeping and decision making. But if you got to this bit in the video, comment down below save and let's move on to the drill. For the drill you'd stand in a suitable position in corresponds to the attackers, one would stand behind the ball ready to feed the ball in for the other attacker to react to. The feeder may roll the ball out or bounce it or throw it, but as they do that you must judge the attacker's speed and distance to the ball whilst also judging the ball's speed. As you analyse your situation you'd either come out and clear the ball or drop back to your line for a shot. This drill works on your decision making and overall sweeping. The goalkeeper position is always evolving so you need to know what style of play will come out next. But this has been how to be a sweeper keeper. So if you enjoyed or found this video useful please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and other than that that's me. See ya!